Uh, my client has been kind in allowing me to film her and uh, this is an example of a hyperextended upper cervical spine and uh, especially hyperextended and anterior glide fixation at the atlas otherwise known as the first cervical vertebrae. Um, the mastoid is an important landmark to test mobility and if I put my thumb on the front of the mastoid and I spring it on each side, I can get easy movement. If I come underneath the mastoid and I lift up towards the crown of the head, I can get easy side bending mobility. Okay? But if I come underneath it on each side, I'm on the transverse process, the most lateral part of C1, and I try and glide it to the right, there's no give. And when I try and glide from the right to the left, there's no give. But if I come underneath that to C2, boom, free movement, okay? Another hallmark is that the sulcus is shallow. The sulcus of underneath, going lateral to medial on the mastoid, that's sh that is shallow. That sulcus, we uh, quickly abut against the transverse process. And if you look at the anatomy, if you pick up a skeleton and you look at what would happen, uh, um, hopefully a flexible skeleton, you'll see that when C1 glides forward, you can see that it would move closer to being underneath the mastoid process. Now the upper two joints of the cervical spine are beneath the pinna of the ear, okay? So OA is right here, C1, C2 is right here. The rest are in the posterior region. And for that reason, when you test traction of the upper cervical spine of the OA joint and C1, C2, your contact has to be in front of the ear. So I'm gonna use this part of my hand and I'm gonna contact on both sides. I'm trying to traction her and it feels like I'm trying to move a block of granite. There's no give. It's very, very rigid. And we should see movement down in her feet. We should see that translate all the way through the body. Um, so all things are pointing at the C1, C2 segment being stuck in hyperextension, or at least C1 on C2. And if I put in a little more extension, she's still very restricted. She's at end range, so I cannot get any traction there. If I put her in slight flexion, just about five degrees, and then I test traction again, I start to get a little bit of opening. I get to see some movement going down through the body. Um, and my rule of treating this is to treat her in five or ten degrees of, of flexion. And we'll test just a little bit more and see if we gain a little bit more mobility. And it's about the same. So um, what I'm going to do is treat her in flexion. And I'm going to back it up and just treat her in about five, or five to ten degrees of, of uh, flexion. And what I'm going to do is again contact this anterior portion and I'm simply going to take up the slack in the system so it's very gentle, a very small amount of force, and this is it. I have my elbows against my body, I lean backwards with my body, and so I'm not going to get tired. And again, my contact is on the temples and, and uh, I just maintain this very gentle traction because I don't want to go past the OA C1, C2 joint. So I want to be very gentle just to engage the first two joints. And I stay there for five minutes. I set a timer and um, it oftentimes is a very, very easy release of this pattern. And um, so I will treat her like this for five minutes and then we'll film again and see how she responds. And what I do is I teach the client to do this once a week or have someone do it to them. And she can use her hands and point her fingers towards the crown of her head. Um, she can put a pillow under her head and just do self-traction, just push on that. And if they keep their elbows uh, close in, they, they will have less fatigue. And this is a beautiful self-treatment. Um, there's also a cervical device called Dr. Ryder, R-I-T-E-R-S, Dr. Ryder's Real Ease. And I have a YouTube video on using that device. Thank you. And um, 
you can find that online um, or through various catalogs and uh, I have a YouTube video called upper cervical exercises probably the only one on YouTube but otherwise just to be sure you could type in my name which is H E S like Sam C H and so with this introduction um, and please understand I've done uh, I've done a thorough evaluation and I've been treating her for some time so I'm not just diving into treating the uh, the upper cervical spine um, please understand that uh, so we will do the treatment and then we will film the response in about five minutes so I'll shut the camera off now <laughs> 